every Tuesday morning here on the KWN Morning News. We welcome him uh, here uh, on this um, on this Tuesday. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Evan. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Hey, I appreciate you coming in this morning. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, we talk about some great things that are happening in the school system. Yesterday, you had to deal with the uh, the flip side of it. So uh, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, someone hacking the school's Facebook site. Yes, sir. Uh, this morning, uh, put out an updated press release. I'll read that uh, for you here. This is on Monday, October twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. We became aware that the Dade County High School Facebook page had apparently been hacked and contained offensive posts, which prompted us to noti notify law enforcement. Current evidence indicates that the Facebook page was hacked through an employee's personal account from a static IP address originating in Baltimore, Maryland. We recognize that social media platforms can be resor resourceful communication tools, but behavior such as this is nonsense. As, re as a result, the Dade County Schools Information Technology Team is in the process of adding two-factor authentication to school-sponsored social media accounts for an additional layer of security. The Dade County Board of Education is committed to the safety of our students and staff. Therefore, we will continue working closely with the Dade County Sheriff's Office on this investigation. We do not take incidents like this lightly so you can expect an additional presence of law enforcement officers throughout the school day. We value our working relationship with the Dade County Sheriff's Office and the Trenton Police Department. These agencies are on standby and ready to address any act of school violence within our school district. So we sent, out, uh, sent that out early this morning. As I said, we'll continue working closely with the Dade County Sheriff's Office uh, on this investigation. Had anyone had uh, basically any um, any prior, uh, you know, uh, knew this was coming, prior knowledge? No. It, like I said, they went through the uh, employee's personal, uh, they it actually hacked her personal Facebook uh, account. And this employee also had the administrative rights to post uh, messages on the high school page. So once they got into her account, they had free reigns to, to post whatever they needed to on the high school page. So she's, you know, she's uh, went through the process of changing all of her passwords um, and uh, our IT uh, department has been working closely with her to, you know, uh, add that two-factor authentication. So, but no, it's... Um, Coach Cooper was made aware of it um, yesterday morning. He called me, um, and then we immediately contacted the daycare and sheriff's office. Do uh, do we know if if we were the only school? Have you heard of anybody else maybe being hacked across the country? I mean, this coming from Baltimore could be anywhere. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to our knowledge, Day County High School is um, was the only school in our district where the Facebook page was hacked. Um, it, it is an unfortunate situation that it happened, but also yesterday, you know, after we put that message out, we did hear about another senseless act of school violence up in St. Louis. So, um, you know, yesterday we had uh, additional law enforcement officers uh, on campus throughout the day. We had several there uh, this morning during parent drop-off. They'll continue throughout the day. Um, but as I said, what, we value uh, those relationships that we have with Trenton PD, uh, Trenton PD and Dade County SO. Um, we practice all sorts of uh, safety drills. We have table talk, table talk conversations with our uh, staff members and with law enforcement. And I promise you they stand ready to uh, address uh, anybody that uh, tries to do some, you know, conduct some senseless, senseless act like this here in Dade County Schools. Josh Ingle, Superintendent of Dade County Schools, got about a minute left here. Any uh, anything else that we need to add? Red uh, Ribbon Week this week um, at uh, you know, and then all of our schools, different schools are uh, celebrating uh, Red Ribbon Week uh, and pledging to be drug free in different ways. Um, so that is happening uh, this week. Of course, we know a week from uh, yesterday, next Monday, Halloween, there'll be several activities happening uh, within particularly our elementary schools. Um, 
And then the football game coming up this week, um, it it was moved to Thursday, and now it has been moved back to Friday. So we're on original schedule for Dade County versus Pepperell at Magic Morgan Stadium this coming Friday night. Friday night. All right, Dade County School Superintendent Josh Ingle here with us every Tuesday morning on the Newsmakers segment on News Radio KWN. Thank you, sir. Thank you.